What's up, smarty people? It's KeysDanRadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in a living color from the Keys Dan Studios, and this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time, and if you need DJ services, where do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. One more time, DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. You know, I like to party with the people. Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, the world's hardest cheese can be chewed like gum for hours. It's frustrating when you buy a block of cheese at the supermarket and it grows mold before you can enjoy the whole thing. But that's rarely an issue with Chirpy, the world's hardest cheese that can last up to 20 years. Chirpy originated in the eastern Himalayas region of Nepal and China, and it comes in both a softer variety produced from cow's milk and a hard variety produced from yak's milk soft chirpy lasts for only a week or two and is often pickled or enjoyed in curries but the version made from yak's milk is a special culinary treat you won't find anywhere else in the world hard chirpy is produced by curing fresh cheese curds at room temperature for several days the curds are then sliced into blocks and left to dry either outside or or in a low heat oven, which gives it a smoky flavor and a dense consistency. While chirpy is best enjoyed within six months, it is said to last for up to two decades if properly stored in yak skin. Part of chirpy's everlasting freshness is due to its extreme lack of moisture. While this helps preserve the cheese, the low moisture content also makes it quite difficult to chew. The most effective way to eat it is to hold it in one's mouth until it becomes moist and softens slightly, then begin chewing it like a gum. Consuming chirpy in this way can make one block of the stuff last for up to two years. That's what makes chirpy so popular in this isolated region of the world, as people can rely on it for continued sustenance during long journeys through mountainous terrain. Here's some more tidbits of information for you. The year the world's first commercial cheese factory opened, 1815. Cheese varieties mentioned in Monty Python's Cheese Shop Sketch, 43. Price for one pound of the world's most expensive cheese, Pule Cheese, 6 hundred dollars weight in pounds of the largest slice of cheese in history 298.73 oh you're looking for more tidbits of information about cheese well how about this a french town produces electricity using cheese albertsville france is a small commune that's most famous for hosting the 1992 winter olympics it's also known for being the site of an untraditional power station that uses cheese to produce electricity this unusual process relies on whey a yellowish liquid byproduct that comes from the beaufort cheese making process experts realized they could ferment the whey to create methane gas, which could then be used to heat water and produce electricity. In October 2015, a new cheese-based power plant opened with the ability to produce 2.8 million kilowatt hours each year, enough to power a community of 1,500 people. It is the largest power plant of its kind, though it's actually not the first. That distinction goes to a small prototype plant that was built in the mid-2000s near a French abbey that's been producing cheese since the 12th century. Today, there are more than 20 of these small cheese-fueled power plants located throughout Europe and Canada. How about that? Cheese, baby! Do you like cheese? What's your favorite kind of cheese? Let me know. I like it, the cheese. Stick around for more. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. What makes you smarter? Peace. I'm out of here.